it was straight up interesting. And with this back. Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I tire of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? She starved, Builder. Hungry for you. Eager to consume you like a moist and dainty morsel. Splendid. She'll be pleased to know I have an appetite to match her own. Our union will be a feast of the senses. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Asleep or awake, her eyes swim with naught but the image of you. She is blind to all else. Blinded by love or disgust? I do not grasp your meaning. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious. Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? Is something wrong? Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real fray, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need to... You have to... next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Ah. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice, but that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. You are no one's prize just yet. If this scheme turns sour, I will fight for you, till my sinews snap and my bones break. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I am with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guest closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. 
Why do you still wear Freya's for- Who's at stake? Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. We have found the worm's lair. Are those the builder's pets? Shapeshifters! More deception. The builder will suffer for this. Talk. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? But did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, high one. Let's go, baby. More deer. Go ahead. I'll watch your back. That's cold comfort. Quiet crossing might be best. Slay these shapeshifters! I have the paint. advice. Find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. Finished with you. <clears throat> you survived my trap. How disappointing. 
Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Who is Balsak? Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hugur makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could without punishment or price? You and your slab had its son? Their lives were the price of their arrogance. His head is exposed. How do I reach it? But you do not control them. Control them? I only wish to survive them. There's no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! Great.
tries. Let's go, baby. Is the Yotam dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cub. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. You need to close it. Am I stuck here? What's going on? Welcome back. Your face is bright and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I've been to Asgard. The seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form. Lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two. But we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts. His loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then, I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time, and the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. 
but there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. I'll have to do all these oh. later. It's really cool that all. Oh. What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finir, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom, when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already, and as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, He'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity? But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. The tale of Dane Oswald. Alright. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It was I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king... I'll set things right. 
You will be king when I'm a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. You cannot tell me this game does not look beautiful. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Yo, oh, a smoke ahead. That's beefy. This area is off limits. <laughs> That should be the last of these pig-faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. I thought we do it. Zunin, guide me. Where's the key at? Yes.
Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse right. here than I feared. Attend the dinner at night. Are you gonna hop on that horse? Yeah. Uh, I guess we will wait till night time. We don't need them. To our guests of honor, both here and Brode, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it, but you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Brode, that the is. The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, wolf kissed? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned with the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me? That's it! She called us blessed! Limp, weak, soft! <laughs> Ridiculous! Absurd! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise.
aware that they're molten with all sit on Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. Fierce bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, I'm glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the womb, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. How long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnia wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Repair the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. 
Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. You made it. Now we're <gasps> done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Where's your resolve, Lord? Stop whining and attack me! Ah! We'll forge your king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. You felt that one? Oh. I'm still here. Hard to believe this one was the... <laughs> You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Come now! You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Finish this! Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, They'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. Neither will be. Neither will be. Let's tire our prey.
All right, this is actually pretty fun. Keep an eye out for them. If I see any, I'll let you know. Come on. Let's go. Now to kill it. Distract us. Let us go to the treasure. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. That's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. Also, great sound. We are going to meet Oswald after. Livestock and a trophy from our slave. No battle dented Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruin. Near that boat outside the city walls. One of them will talk. Paint me, be my eyes. Wait, wait, 
What are you doing? I'm just a pig farmer. You are awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh... It's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. <laughs> I thought I was killing a dog. I should have put his head. There's a guy's. Did Ruid send you too? Speak now and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. I've killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord. To Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. I could do that all day, you drooling blood bladder. Only give me a reason. Lick my dung hole. Here's the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. That's enough to go on. Time to die. <laughs> that wasn't necessary. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. 